Hello! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Elizabeth. You obviously didn't know that because why would you? Self-deprecation! Caffeine. Today I'm going to be showing you an updated no makeup makeup routine. I recently, not recently, what is ever recent about my YouTube channel? Nothing! The last makeup video I uploaded was kind of like an everyday makeup routine. Obviously my everyday makeup routine has changed, but the biggest thing that's changed about it is that I hate wearing makeup even more than I already did. So, I'm going to be showing you, I literally haven't even unpacked this bag in the past two weeks. This is all I've been using. I've done my makeup with this bag in the car. I've done it in Mexico. I've done it in my bathroom. I've done it in my other bathroom. All sounds like places I've had. So basically, I want to show you guys my no makeup makeup routine. It requires a very, very simple amount of makeup. As always, there's ways to tone it down and to build it up and to add layers. But literally, I purposely didn't even look through anything else anywhere in my apartment. I just wanted to show you guys what I've really been using. So let's jump into it. <laughs> Why do we say that? We're literally not jumping. Obviously, I wash my face and like do my toner, my serum, or whatever. And then, I do think you should use a primer. I don't have one in here, but I am gonna cheat and I do have a priming water. Skincare is obviously the most important thing. If you use a primer, gracefully like I do. It's protecting your skin from the makeup, which isn't as good for your skin. So one of these products is new and one of them is old, but they are both Giorgio Armani. And I am telling you, I literally hate makeup so much. I went out of my way to buy a tinted moisturizer because I'm so over this shit. But at the same time, I'm not because then I see pictures of myself and I'm like, oh, I need this. So either use this, this, or mix. Depending on coverage, you decide. The thing that I've mastered is this. So we're gonna go with this. Keep in mind, this is no makeup makeup and I have freckles as well. Can you see them? You can for sure obviously see them. When I was in Mexico, I looked at my friend Claudia and I was like, I am so sick of doing our makeup twice a day. Like, I'm so over it. Like, I'm literally putting on the smallest amount of foundation ever because I don't feel like putting it on. So then, I put this much foundation on my hand. I literally do one squirt, just like that. And I'm gonna make this one squirt last my whole face because that's how much we hate it. I mean, we love it, but we hate it. So yeah, basically I go in with just this brush and I just paint really, really lightly and gently. Focus on areas that may have redness little red spots over here and by using this brush instead of a beauty blender it allows me to like use up all the product and not have any go in the beauty blender and really just spread it out and then you can go back in with a beauty blender if you want to like pat it in more start with as little as possible and then see if you really need more because a foundation is expensive and b you probably don't need nearly as much as you're putting on your face just because it's so trendy right now to like i don't know be an instagram person and then still blend onto your neck. I'm sunburnt and like my skin's all messed up so. So I literally just went in with one pump of foundation and this is what it looks like. So that's like my biggest tip of this video is like literally start with one pump and go from there because I guarantee you you're gonna be like wait why do I use so much foundation? Next I've been using the Glossier um, stretch concealer. This is in medium and I like it because it really like stretches with your skin. I feel like it's a great color and it's a great consistency that it doesn't like cake on. It's super natural. It's just like one with my skin. Glossier is all about like skincare first, like makeup second. I think that's like their literal slogan. So it's like definitely a brand you can like trust when it comes to this kind of stuff. And I literally just go in with my finger and get those under eye bags. And then I'll even go like if there's really any other, I usually really like concealing right here. I'll go in in those places. But I also want to try and keep my freckles showing. Go in very lightly with the concealer, mostly just in places you want to highlight and where there's really any redness. It wasn't covered by the foundation but mostly that's all you need oh i forgot the like other favorite thing ever hold on i need to be right back excuse me ow <laughs> Then I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with this. I, I don't know why I never used it before. I've had it for a while. This is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Golden Hour. And basically it's like what you would use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder for. But this powder, even though like all these powders are translucent, like the Laura Mercier still, you know, like sometimes photographs white or definitely looks a little like white and like super like baking powder-ish. So with this, like I know Becca like love their formulas and I know that they know what they're doing. So I trust it even more. And and it's like just meant to make you glow. More of this like peachy, not like glitter in it, but it has this like shimmer, like pearlescent kind of feel to it. And a little bit goes a long way, which is also really great. And I just love the consistency. I feel like it really just completes the entire look of just like coverage and naturalness. And I just have to tap it off so much. A little bit goes a long way. I'm like seriously obsessed with this because it's also like not like putting another foundation on. Take it under my eye like that. 
that. It's just so much better than using translucent powder. I'm like obsessed with this. Then I'll put it like here and here and like just kind of drag it out. And I feel like it just brings my entire complexion and skin together. You can see like I'm already have a highlight and it's literally just from this powder. So next, obviously I need bronzer because I love bronzer. I'm actually also using the Becca bronzer. The reason why I love theirs, this is in my favorite colors, Ipanema Sun. I love theirs because I like know so much about the formulation and like the reasons like behind Becca products, which also makes me love and trust them even more, like I already said. And so this, as you can see, it's the perfect natural bronzer. So like, this isn't like a matte bronzer where it's gonna look just like muddy. It's the perfect like actual natural bronzer without being too chunky, glittery, shimmery or being like too matte and brown. So it literally just actually looks like you got a tan instead of you're just like wearing a bunch of bronzer. I use a little bit of a darker one just cause obviously I like being tan and I actually don't have self tanner on right now. So this kind of off, but you get the idea. And also like there's so many shades whereas like a lot of companies don't really have that many options with bronzers. So I feel like Becca has like so many good shades, all different types of skins and just like tans and like their undertones are really great. Oh my gosh, <laughs> would you look at me? So this also helps make the look a lot more natural and this is the Glossier Cloud Paint. It's just super, super lightweight and also like natural looking. I'm really obsessed with it. I used to never really wear blush because I was just so obsessed with bronzer. So I just like literally squirt a little bit on each cheek like that. And then I go in with my fingers and I just pat it in. And it like doesn't mess up anything that I've already done. It's super easy and simple. And the color is great. This is in the color Dusk. So that's like super simple and it like stays on. It looks super natural because it's not like cakey or anything. It's just like literally one with your skin. Then on top of that, I go in with my highlighter. This is just, this is actually Prosecco Pop, not Champagne Pop. So I just go in with Prosecco Pop and I just pat it very lightly. Highlight area. And I also take the same brush and I'm lazy, so I do that through my eyes. Easy. Then, so I have this NARS eyeshadow that I usually use, but I can't find it. But it makes it even easier. All I usually do anyway is I take bronzer and I just put it on my eyes. Voila. Then I take just a clear eyebrow gel and I would usually take like boy brow or something, but I can't find it ever since I talked about it in that freaking video. This will do for now. And I just like brush up my eyebrows. Then I take mascara. I don't like doing too much on the bottom. Does anyone look pretty while doing this? I also always get it on my eyelid. Ah, decent. Then I usually take my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask and I just put that on, but it's literally 10 feet away, so I'm using this. So this is my no makeup makeup look. I'm wearing makeup, but it doesn't look like, yes it does. I'm wearing as little makeup as possible to be socially acceptable to walk out of my house, okay? This is what I look like from far away. This is what it looks like up close. So you can still see like like some of my freckles or at least that I'm like a person with freckles you can tell um and it's just glowy and bronzy and there's not that much on voila thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos leave a comment down below of what you want to see me do next because I need your input if I don't have your input I literally have nothing in my life <laughs> make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post anything that's ever interesting and intriguing in my life and you should follow along and I'll see you guys in my next video bye